What is up, guys? It is Kentucky Fence Chaser coming at y'all. Uh, sorry I've not had no footage lately. It's been nasty weather here in Kentucky, so I've been been waiting it out a little bit. But uh, today I figured why I've got the opportunity and the chance and a few moments to myself, I want to show you guys one of my favorite baits that I use for catfish. Um, I have I don't know how many thousands of different catfish recipes I can share with you guys. I want to show y'all how to make it, and I want y'all to go out and uh, try them, see if they work in your area. Well, this is one of my favorite, favorite catfish recipes I use. It's real cheap, uh, it's real quick and easy. You can make it within two or three minutes and take it fishing with you right then and there. There's no waiting, no nothing. All right, I'm going to get down to it, and I'll show you what you need. First, you will need some chicken breast, boneless if you can. Annie's extract, pure Annie's, a Ziploc bag, cutting board, and of course a good old trusty razor blade to cut the chicken breast up. Alright guys, now that you got your chicken breast out here, it's time to cut it up. I got an old trusty razor blade here, and uh, we're going to cut it up until about, I don't know, about that size. I'll show y'all. And let me get this cut up for you guys, and I'll show you. Alright guys, here's my chicken breast cut up, as you can see. It just magically appeared. But anyways, uh, this is the size I like to use. They're not real big, not real small. Um, I've caught blues, flyheads, and channel catch with these. And I've also caught rainbow trout. I've caught, of course, bluegill with them. And I've caught one bass, I think, one or two bass on these, largemouth. So, I mean, it's a good good uh, bait to use all around. I mean, I wouldn't specifically just use it for bass, but this is more of a catfish bait. All right, now that you got your chicken breast cut up here, all you got to do now is open up your boss of anise. All right, let me get this open here. All right, guys, after you've added your anise to it, your chicken breast should look a little bit like this. It will have like a little milky color to it, okay? Now, this is one of my favorite baits to use. It's quick, simple, and easy. Now, if you keep it cold on a little bit of ice, now, if you keep it getting cold, this will last you four or five fishing trips. You can also freeze this when you get done fishing and take it out, thaw it out, and where they're, where they're thin chicken breasts, they'll thaw out pretty quick within 10 to 15 minutes for eagle fishing. It's real easy. Um, the total cost for this bait here that, you know, i just shown you guys, uh, the Pure Annie's runs anywhere from two ninety six to 3 bucks. You can sometimes get it cheaper at Kroger's. I got this at Walmart in the spice aisle with the flour. Uh, the chicken breast here, I paid $3.03. I mean, you can sometimes catch it on sale cheaper when it's outdated. But this here was fresh. Um, you know, so, I mean, catfish bait here that I know it works, and I will show you and guarantee it to work for under, you know, 6 bucks. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, that's, that's, that's a heck of a deal. I mean, yeah, if you don't have Ziploc bags, yeah, sure. You, you got to buy Ziploc bags and stuff. But other than that, I mean, you don't have to use Ziploc bags either. You can use uh, containers too. But I have a lot, a lot more uh, catfish baits I want to share with you guys. And I want to see you guys use them and try them in the area and let me know how they work. But uh, this will be uh, one of my catfishing videos. So I'll consider it as catfish video one. Uh, I don't know, bait, homemade bait. We'll just call it homemade bait, homemade catfish bait video one. We'll go with that. Because I have many, many more. Um, I do have some better camera equipment coming. And a lot better stuff coming. So, for my camera and video and blah, 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 you know. But, um, that's going to be it for today. And you guys go try this out and let me know. Y'all let me know if it's worked out. I'm going to cut the rest of this up. Put it in here. Put it in the freezer. And next time I go fishing, just pull it out. Lay it in the floorboard of my car. Turn the floorboard heater on. Or, heck, you can just... Keep take it frozen, let it float in water for a second, it'll be thawed out in a few seconds. But I'm gonna end it here and I hope y'all have a good day and see y'all in the water. Bye guys.